<laughs> Weird feeling. So uh, our university, Bashkir State Medical University, is uh, uh, top. Uh, we included in top ten uh, in Russia mm -hmm. among medical universities. And uh, good news, we included uh, this year. We included in Times Higher Education uh, ranking. Okay. That is uh, very good. Previously, we were included in um, less uh, important rankings, but also. Uh, international rankings, uh, domestic rankings. So uh, let's talk about numbers. Uh, we have uh, more than 11,000 uh, local students and uh, more than 2,500 uh, international students. 2,500 international students? International students. Okay. From 54 countries. From 54 countries. And how many Indian students are there? More than 600. More, more than 600? Okay. Yes. This is after expulsion. Mm -hmm. Which ranking uh, in Russian Federation of this university? Uh, among uh, medical universities, mm -hmm. we in top 10, uh, our position between 5 to 8. From year to year. 5, five to, to 8 to ranking to eight. in Russian Federation? Yes. Medical universities? Among 80 uh, medical universities in Russia. Among 80? Among uh, more than uh, 400 uh, all universities of Russia, we take uh, uh, top uh, one, in 100 of top universities. Okay. So, uh, also we have uh, more than 1,500 uh, residents. Mm -hmm. It's PG for period okay. And this year we opened uh, 10 um, uh, programs of masters. Masters. masters degree. These programs in masters degree. Uh, healthcare management. Okay. Uh, social work. Mm -hmm. Uh, biology, mm -hmm. uh, bioinformatics, okay. and uh, two, two other programs in biology, which I uh, cannot recollect mm -hmm. very like uh, for materials and something like that. Okay. Uh, also, we opened uh, this year, we, uh, we have opened new program uh, like nursing, okay. higher education. Okay. Also, we have a medical college for nursing as a vocational mm -hmm. training. I would like to ask uh, which uh, master's programs you are introducing mm -hmm. in medicine and surgery? Uh, no, in Russia, uh, okay. uh, to be uh, to avoid uh, con confusion, mm -hmm. uh, we should understand that in Russia we call a program which you uh, think is master's, we call it residency. Yeah, residency. So which uh, programs are in residency in, in medicine and surgery? Uh, a lot of programs, it's about uh, 77 programs. Okay. Uh, I cannot pronounce all, medicine, all of them. General medicine, pediatrics, pediatrics, uh, and gynecology, OBGYN, uh, OBGYN, yeah. uh, surgery, the rapid surgery, uh, yeah. uh, surgery, radiology, skin disease, radiology, many surgeries. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So these are the uh, programs which you are introducing in medicine and surgery. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Uh, radiology treatment okay. uh, and a lot of subspecialties. Okay. Sub These all programs are here. Yes, residency, program. ma master, yeah, residency programs. And master pro masters uh, is quite different. It's two uh, two years of education, but it's mostly for students who does not uh, uh, wish to work mm -hmm. closely with patients. Residency it's like a clinical thing. Yeah, clinical and exposure is required in residency. Yes, yeah, and in masters uh, we can enroll students without medical background. Okay. For example, uh, in residency of uh, healthcare management, you cannot enter uh, without medical degree. Mm -hmm. uh, in masters, uh, you can enter. Okay. Uh, for example, you are rich and, what, um, and you have your own clinic, yeah, but what? you are not doctor. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is for you. Yeah. <laughs> healthcare. But senior residency is uh, after. Residency uh, only for medicine program after medicine. medical background yes. after MBBS. Yes. Yes. Or like this. Which is the um, language, uh, I mean, um, the medium of instruction in master's program or uh, in MBBS also? In MBBS we have Russian medium uh, and also mixed uh, mixed program with Russian. Throughout six English. years you have uh, and, Russian uh, of language? Of course not. How it is possible, for example, mm -hmm. on fifth year, how it is possible to uh, teach you in English only if 
our patient, Russian patient, he doesn't speak uh, mm -hmm. English. How you can exactly? Take, uh, you have to interact with the patients of in the course, Russian language. Only. Of course, theory. Yeah. Not only patients, and what about nurses. The theory? What about the theory? Uh, three years, the completely. Three English. years, completely, completely English. English. And completely. after three years. After three years, lectures delivered okay. in English, mm -hmm. and uh, practical classes, clinical exposure. That is that Russian, understood. Of course. That is in Russian. <laughs> but that doesn't mean where well, students will be. In the final year exam in is Russian. in English or in Russian? In Russian. In Russian. Unfortunately, in Russian. But in in future, we now survey our students, mm -hmm. uh, which will be um, profitable for them. But the problem is. Uh, we can conduct this exam in English, but we must attract uh, people, mm -hmm. teachers, professors, mm -hmm. uh, who will <coughs> take this exam in English. Okay. In near future, it would be... In near future, after COVID, uh, we hope we will uh, invite uh, Indian professors for uh, final exam final state examination. In that that case, will be good. That will, that will be, be good, but... Uh, the requirements of our government is uh, Russian medium of this program, uh, but I hope uh, we can change something, okay. at least in theory, at least in theory. Thank you. So also we have, uh, this is masters. Mm -hmm.